How you guys doing today? I just wanted to crack into a quick video right here on this like nice little rainy right now, a little dark, a little groomy. But I want to shoot my videos every day. I'm not gonna let the rain stop me from doing this. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Forgetting the excuses, forgetting your reasons why you don't want to do things. I'm actually I'm gonna put my hood on right now. I just I cut my hair. I cut my hair myself this morning. I don't want to get sick out here. But I do want to make this video for you guys. It's, Honestly, I want to put out daily videos. I want to be here every step of with the way with you to always be on top of myself, to be pushing myself to go forward, to keep motivated, to help you guys keep motivated, help you guys keep moving forward in whatever it is you want to do in your dreams. I want to inspire people. I want to motivate people. I want people to go out and live their life's dreams. I don't know if I should move too much. It's raining. I'm going to get my camera wet. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about it. I thought... I don't know, it's just a perfect example to talk about not letting excuses put you down. Not letting excuses stop you. I've always believed as a kid, it was always my belief like, I don't want to let, some, because of the weather is bad that's stopping me from going out. If I want to do something, I'm going to go do it. You know, if I'm set around and I wait for the perfect condition to do something, it's not going to happen. And then there's the other thing too, when you uh, you have like specific plans and you put these expectations on this one day, it could be your birthday, it could be New Year's, that that has to be so grand, so good. What happens if it is a rainy day? It is not looking so nice. Right now, this is my car trunk hood. I don't know what you call it, the door for my car trunk. I got it above me because it's raining. I got my camera out here, I'm not trying to get too wet. You know, I could just be like, oh, it's a little cold, it's rainy, I gotta wear my sweater, it's windy, let me get my camera wet, I could damage my equipment, I could put all these like nonsense thoughts in my head. But what's that really gonna do for me at the end of the day? That's gonna pull me down, that's gonna make me feel bad. And then the real reason behind it is I gotta do these videos every day. Is because if I do take that one day off, if I'm just like, okay, today, it's okay. I don't have to do it today. But then what happens next time it's raining? Okay, that day I don't have to do it. Next time it rains, okay, that day I don't have to do it. If I make the one excuse for myself, I let myself get away one time with just one excuse, the way the mind works is that when is it going to stop? You're going to keep making those excuses. That's why I'm like, even though right now it's raining, I'm probably in my head a lot. My head feels a little foggy. I don't really have like the best pre-written script for this. I don't even have a pre-written script for this at all. But I'm just like, I have to get out of my way and I have to do this. This is, applies to everything. A lot of people are trying to get into a better diet and exercise lifestyle. I think everybody should be just always working on their diet and exercise, honestly. That's a topic for a whole nother video. But if you're doing it, you gotta just do it. If you let yourself make that one excuse like, oh, I'm tired today. Oh. I didn't get enough time to sleep. Oh, I worked too hard today. How many times is that gonna keep happening? How many days are you gonna be tired? If, if, that, if you have that excuse one day that you're tired, what's to stop you from the next day being too tired? And the day after that, and the day after that, and then 10 years you go down the line, you know, you slowly just fall off the ladder and you stop working out. It's happened to me. I'm not here to point fingers at anyone. Right now, I try to work out consistently a good, I mean, I, I, I don't do it as much as I should. Even, yeah, I'm here talking, I don't do it as much as I should. I try to make sure I do it at least three to four times a week. You know, it'd be good if I could do it every day, but the truth is I can't. I honestly like, but that's also like a bodily thing. I know that if I really work out every day, the way I work out, I'm gonna get overworked. I could feel, especially in my biceps with my upper body, I feel my biceps, a lot in the left bicep like is gonna get overworked it's gonna get like burnt out and I'm gonna damage it and I'm gonna injure it because there is a point you're pushing yourself too far but yeah that's where the balance comes in like understand if you have a real a real excuse there are real excuses like I could be at work and it's just like because right now I am at work I'm on my break and it could be like oh I couldn't come I couldn't get the break so I couldn't come do this or it's like it's like it's literally nighttime outside and it's like I can't go shoot a video at night I'm not gonna be able to upload that if it's just like way too dark like if you have a real legitimate excuse it's like I can't work out now because I'm gonna be late for work if I did honestly sometimes I work out knowingly I'm gonna be late for work and I'm just like you know what What's more important, that I get to work on time, that I'm a good boy, that I'm a good worker, that I do my job right, I keep my boss happy, that I don't have, that I don't have to worry about getting fired from my job that pays me minimum wage, 
or that I work out that I get that time and exercise in like something I really think about a lot I have a girlfriend we have a son together I'm always in my mind at least and my life's goal and attentions is to just always be with her now I'm not telling you this is a life for you that's not what this video is about but in my mind's goal and like what I want for the future is to still be with her now I've had like five or six jobs since the time I've been with her so it's like what am I gonna take more seriously her or the job who do I gotta go home to I don't go home to my job I go home to her <laughs> this is me uh, now I'm here over here it's like forget work and I'm just telling you it don't even matter work doesn't matter you gotta put in the work but it's got to be something really important and you're passionate about but yeah it's like Lots of times I get to work late because I'm like, I gotta take her out because I want to keep her happy. I don't want her to like be like, oh, I never, you never take me out. I gotta go to the store. We gotta go food shopping. I don't want her to start complaining about things. So I just do it. And there's plenty of times, like again, I know I'm gonna get to work like late. I'm gonna be like 15, 20 minutes late to work. And you know, that's not good. You could get fired, but it's like, I've had jobs and they come and go and they come and go and they come and go, but she's still there. She's still there. So why am I going to take the job more seriously that I'm going to leave anyway at some point? I know I'm going to leave it at some point. I know I'm not going to be here forever, but I want her to be there. So it's like, where's your priorities? I'm putting it on her. I'm putting it on working out. Where are your priorities? It's like, yeah, the same thing is like, what am I going to do? Am I going to be worried about being per the perfect worker at this job that I don't want to even keep? Or am I going to work out so that 10 years from now, when this job is just a past distant memory, I had all those years of working out. I had all those years of building my relationship with my girlfriend. So it's now like I have a developed relationship. I have a growing, moving forward relationship. She's still happy to be with me. I'm still working out. I'm still fit. I'm still exercising. But if I just put all my marbles into my job, then what do I have 10 years from now? I have some job. I had a co-worker at my last job. His wife left him after like 15 years and she blamed his job for it. And he couldn't he couldn't rationalize this because to him he waited years and years to get this job and it's like the best job he ever had this is when i was doing driving jobs he was a truck driver we were he was a co-worker of mine's and he his wife just like it was like a slow process she just kept getting more and more distant to him till eventually she left him and it's like i look at him is like what did you work all your life for what do you have to show for it you have this job what are you working for? So you can keep working this job? What are you living for? So you can keep working that job that don't mean anything? Like if it's a job like this, what I'm doing here, if I'm putting, like there's times where I'm like, I go home late to my girlfriend because I'm like, I gotta go shoot the video. I, I um, there's times where I'm like, okay baby, I can't go to bed right now. I gotta upload the video. That's different. This is something that is like, this is what I really wanna do. I want this to be my career, my passion, my future. And it's like I got to do the work for it to actually get there and it's like where are my priorities if I keep focusing on her that I'm never gonna do this Ugh. I'm going all over the place <sighs> take a breather but getting back on this <laughs> I'm just gonna jump right back into it this is also too about where beyond this right here this platform me making these videos is about more than her it's about more than me it's about more than my family it's about more than my lifetime this is like about my legacy this is me putting out videos out there that some guy might see somewhere else and i'm helping him this has the potential to help an unlimited amount of people it could help or it could help just a few select people but they could be at anywhere any place any time in their lives and the message could come to them where they need them and it's like this is like beautiful this is amazing the fact that i'm able to come here and do this like me going to work my job if i were to not show up one day they'll just send someone else they'll just replace me they'll just get another worker i'm just a number but me doing these videos i mean sure there's other people who are doing videos like this but maybe i give the right message to that right person at the right time and I said it in the right way I said it in the way he needed to hear I said what he needed to hear I focused on for some reason like it was just perfect for that guy and it's like I just 
I just changed that man's life. I just motivated him. I just inspired him. Now he's thinking about leaving his job so that he could do something better. Maybe he's thinking about, oh, what am I going to school all these years for? Where's my life going to? Am I going to have a good career after this? Am I truly? And you know, and maybe I should do both. Maybe I should try making videos. Or you don't even have to make videos. Like I made videos about how to make videos. Like I, I put three of them up right now. But there's also, I really just want to inspire you to do whatever you want to do. You don't have to make YouTube videos. You don't have to be an actor. You don't have to be a musician. You don't even have to be famous. You don't even have to be rich. But to be able to work for yourself, that's so empowering, so growing, to not have to answer to anyone, to be your own boss, to feel like your your life is moving forward, and like you're like you're in your you you have your own business in some sort of way. You don't have to even own a store. You can work from your home. Like I have a coworker of mine, a friend of mine, who at his house he he makes like I think he 3D prints them, but he likes to make molds of things, of any like medieval structures, and he sells them. He's at his house doing his own thing. I got another coworker. Of mine. He cleans cars for extra money and it's like I want you whatever it is you want to do just go do it Get your priorities in line Don't be afraid to put in the time at work You're not gonna just start off and then you're gonna just be like don't don't think you're just gonna start and then you're gonna be Like a millionaire out of nowhere. Maybe you'll never be a millionaire Maybe you even have a job that you're making several thousand dollars off a week on and you're watching this video like why am I gonna leave my job that's paying me all this money so that I could chase my career that's not paying me anything but what's making you happy forget even happiness let's talk about what did you do at the end of your life let's say you're gonna die 20 years from now 30 years from now, 100 years from now. Let's say you're gonna die 100 years from now. You have 100 years to live your life. Are you gonna look back when you're 100 years old and you're gonna be like, oh, I made all this money. I drove these nice cars. Look at how great I am. That's logical. That doesn't mean anything. That means nothing. That's all logical. If you're like, I drove this car, that's like, okay. I'm in this nice car. I should feel good. I feel good about myself. I'm better than you. Look how good I am. Like you're telling yourself to feel good. You're telling yourself to feel good. You're telling yourself that your job means something to you. You're telling yourself that car means something to you. That girl, that boy, that house, that vacation. You're t if you gotta tell yourself it meant something to you, there's no real emotion behind that. That's all logical. What I want for you guys is to try to do something. Like when I do these videos, I start off kind of fogging in my head and I feel so much better after I do it like even not even like just during the video but after I've done the video and I walk away I feel like I'm a different person I feel like I'm a lion I feel like I really made a difference in the world like I'm helping other people and maybe even more importantly to myself I'm helping myself like I actually feel a lot better doing this and if somebody was like I'll pay you a thousand dollars a week to make YouTube videos for the rest of your life or I'll pay you ten thousand dollars a week, but you got to go be a construction laborer I've been a construction laborer. I ain't going to be no construction labor again I'm gonna make YouTube videos <laughs> and I want you guys to do what you want to do This right here. This is my motivation. This is my inspiration. This is my mind reframe if you have any kind of problem with what you want to really do in your life, the only problem is the way you're looking at it. And you guys got to reframe your mind so that you can look at it differently. I actually had to pause so I could wipe off the camera lens. It's getting wet. My face is probably, I think it's like dark here. So I'm shooting under my trunk and it's raining and it's outside. I'm cold. It's windy. It's wet. My camera's getting wet. Oh, look at me. Boo-hoo. All my life problems. Why, why would I do that to myself though? Why not I just get out here and do it anyway? Just focus on the fact that I'm here, I'm doing this and this makes me feel good. Why not I just choose to be happy? If you got something you wanna do, why don't you just do it? What's holding you back? What's stopping you? Don't go in your mind and tell yourself all these problems you have with it. Forget that, now I brought it up, now let me tell you, forget about that. 
forget about it. Don't worry about it. I told my coworker earlier, it was just like, she was worried about us missing phones at her job. And I'm just like, don't worry about it. Like, I, I get the sense from you that you're always worried you're gonna come to the job and there's a phone missing. Like, I don't even check if we're missing phones. If we're missing a phone, I wouldn't even know. But you know what happens? I don't lose phones. You know what, what happens when they, when they worry about it? You're more likely to lose a phone. There was a day, I was really, I got a good story for this one. I was really, really worried this day that I was gonna lose phones because I was moving phones back and forth. I had these customers and I brought over three different phones so they can look through the options and I could try to convince them to buy one. And then they didn't even get one. I just threw them in the box because I had to deal with other customers. And then another customer came and I pulled over another three phones. Like I'm moving phones back and forth and I'm really like worried and paranoid that I'm gonna lose one. And is that is really that worry that what happened was I was thinking too much I was in my head and when I do that I'm not really focusing on what I'm doing like I'm over here and I'm like pick up my name tag go go put it on go to work hurry up hurry up wait did I put on my name tag but if I'm here like huh I'm gonna put on my name tag now I'm gonna go to work now I have my name tag we're good See, that sounds like a lot better scenario. I noticed too, I even, when I'm dreaming, I don't even know I'm dreaming because I'm so used to just walking around in my head and just thinking about everything that I don't even realize that I'm not feeling things when I'm in my dreams. I don't realize that they're dreams because I'm so used to just walking around thinking about everything. And when you're just walking around wearing, that's where even like OCD comes. Like I've been there, like I used to be that guy. I don't even know, like go looking at me now, going looking back to where I was when I was in high school, I'm just like, why did I do that? But I'd be there, like, I'd be literally at my door, like, is it even a door now? But if this was a door now, I'd be literally, is it locked? Is it locked? Pull the door, pull the door, pull the door. Okay, it's not opening. Check the lock, turn it, turn it, turn it. Like, I literally, like, my, my parents would hear me. Like, I sound like I'm a crazy person with, like, real OCD. Like, I literally would twist the handle, like, 20 times, then pull the door open and close. Like, let not, like, I didn't really open it, but I pull it back and forth to see it would open, like, 20 times, then I twist it, then I pull it, then I twist it, then I pull it. And it's like, why am I doing that? It's because all I knew how to do then was think. I didn't know how to just be in the situation where I was. Okay, it was just nothing to worry about. I didn't know how to just be where I was. Feel my hand on the doorknob. Just be like, okay, the door is locked. Okay, I can go. Like, this sounds weird to say. Like, it's like, what do you even mean? And it's honestly, you only understand it when you go through it. But this was really where I was in my life. I had, all I knew how to do was think. I had so much anxiety. I, when I would get a thought, I would just hold on to it forever. And I'd be like, oh, I need this thought. I gotta hold on to it. Oh, it's so important. Then when I, then when I forget the thought, I'd be like, oh, I was thinking about that thought. And it made me feel good. I want to think about it. What was the thought? It's like, all I was doing was thinking. I wasn't even living. I wasn't feeling. I wasn't being a person. It was a bad way to live my life. I guess I come, <laughs> I went off there, but I guess I want to come back to when you're just going through your life and you're just thinking about things like that, you're just, you're wasting so much time and energy because I could have just calmly be like, ch -ch 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 -ch. okay, the door's locked. All right, you know what? Maybe I want to check another time. It's locked. Okay, maybe one more time. Okay. I'm gonna just accept what it is. I did my best. I tried. I remember doing it. Now I'm gonna walk away. Woo! This is a nice place here. But when you're wasting your time and energy, like, oh, like, let's get back to, uh, you know, doing you, doing you, doing your life, doing your work. It's like, oh, oh, these are, these are my life's problems. These are my worries. This is why I'm not living my dreams. This person, they have these advantages. I don't have these advantages. Hey, hey, that guy over there, he's making YouTube videos. His mom brought him a camera. My mom didn't buy me a camera, so I can't make YouTube videos. You can buy your own camera. Just examples, whatever it is you wanna do. You can buy your own 3D printer. You can write your own music. You can practice. You can learn to do makeup if there's a girl watching this and she wants to see whatever it is you wanna do. I just want you guys, honestly, I just want people to wake up 
from their reality that they're living in. Realize that there's other realities, other worlds to live in. Realize that their life potentially could have been almost completely a lie and that there's another world out there where they could be living in a much better life, where they're much more happier with the way that their lives are. And they let go of all that superficial stuff. All those things you think you want, the house, the money, the cars, the girls, they're superficial. You're telling yourself that you're not good enough and you need those things so that you can be complete and then once you get those things your mind just looks for the next thing because you reinforce the idea in your mind that you're not enough and you need other things to be complete and then once you get those things you still reinforce you still have that mindset you're still the same person thinking oh I'm not enough I need other things to be complete they don't really satisfy you for long so I want you guys to realize that there's other ways to live your lives and right now I'm trying to help you reframe the way your mind is thinking your brain is thinking so that you want to get out there you want to you feel inspired you feel motivated and you just go out there and you do whatever it is you want to do in your life that's what i want for you guys that's what i'm gonna wrap this video on just get out there and do whatever it is you want to do don't worry about anything anything you can worry about that's just gonna make you tired that's gonna give you less energy it's not helping you if you if you're thinking about something it's giving you energy you're like you're making plans for how you're gonna do this thing you want to do I'm being really general because you can do anything you want to do anything as long as you're not hurting somebody just do what you want to do don't worry about how you're gonna make money do something that you do know that is possible eventually you can make money in it but there's no reason that anything you're doing can't be make money there's people who just they sell toys online they sell random things online you can sell your makeup or your clothes you can sell anything you want you can make things and you could just start selling online you can open up your own business if you've been waiting years and years and years to open up your own store just do it there was a I watched a video once of a man it was like sad and it was like beautiful and heartwarming he was standing outside of a building and he's like this is where my store used to be and then one day like the owner they kicked him out because his business was wasn't doing well and he slowed down and he spent like years and years working on it he spent all his money working on it but he was still happy he was still glad that he at least did it wouldn't you be happier in the end of your life even if you opened and you closed 10 stores 10 businesses every single one of them failed wouldn't you be so much happier at the end of your life that you did all that instead of you just played it the safe way you just stayed at your job you just shut up and you just did what you were told to do instead of being your own boss your own man making your own things and even if it's a teeter-totter in life, be like, open a business, close a business, open a business, close a business. I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm sad. That's gonna be your life anyway. You're gonna be at this regular job, you're gonna stagnate, you're gonna become depressed, you're gonna have problems with like, oh, when am I gonna get promoted? Did I get promoted? When am I gonna get a raise? Oh, I got a raise, when's my next raise? When's my next promotion? Oh, I got a raise, oh, I got a promotion. When's my next raise? When's my next promotion? Oh, I got a raise, oh, I got a promotion. When's my next raise? This is, this is a back and forth cycle. Life is gonna go like that anyway. So you might as well take control of the wheel. Learn to at least create your own joy, your own happiness, your own purpose, your own meaning in life. And then don't worry about the problems. Don't worry about the negativity. Learn that when the problems come, that negativity come, just be centered in yourself. Learn how to deal with your problems like an entrepreneur. Even if you're not trying to open your business, learn how to deal with your problems like an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur doesn't have time to worry about all his problems in his life. The way I really think about it, if you're making a business, you don't have to make a business. You apply this to whatever you want to do. But if you're making a business and you're planning to not fail, I honestly think you're planning to fail. Like this is like kind of like my own like theory about this. But I mean, I'm sure there's other people who've like view it a certain way. If you're planning on how you're going to not fail, how you're going to cut expenses, how you're going to save money, that sounds like you're planning to not fail, which to me honestly sounds like you're planning to fail. Like that's not any kind of saying. They're saying is really goes, if you're not planning, then you're planning to fail. I'm saying that if you're planning to not fail, you're still planning to fail. If you want to be the real king of the world, the real boss, a real entrepreneur, business owner, or whatever, a real YouTube king, a real makeup guru, you know, athlete, musician, don't forget all of that. Plan to succeed. What you need to do in your life, forget the problems, forget 
Just focus on the solutions. Just make plans of how you're gonna get to that next level. How is your business gonna keep moving forward? Why does a business that's so focused on, okay, how are we gonna make our, make our next million dollars? Okay, we got that. How are we gonna make our next million dollars? Okay, we got that. How are we gonna make our next million dollars? Why are they gonna be like, oh, if we switch our napkins over to this company, we can save 10 cents a napkin. Like, you don't have time to worry about things like that. And I'm not saying that little things like that aren't important. There are little things like that and you add all those little things, you can build a business. But the way I look at it, if you're just making plans to avoid problems and you're just focusing on what problems you do have, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure because there's no, you're not making time plans for how you're going to grow, how your business is going to move forward. Like I can sit here making these videos like, I can sit here making these videos like, I don't even know because I don't even think that way. Wow. You know, I could be like, oh, I don't even think that way. I'm just like, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to move forward. I'm just like, I can get better cameras. I could get better computers. I can get more comfortable on camera. I can learn more things. I'm honestly, I can't even tell you how I could think about this badly and plan to not to just like plan to fail where. Yeah, because I, I don't even have a thought on it. My mind doesn't even work that way anymore. That's how you guys' mind should work. Like, I don't even have any thoughts. It's like, I don't even think, I don't waste my time thinking about what if this doesn't work? How am I going to keep this from stop working? What am I going to do so I don't slow down? Like, like what am I going to do so I don't lose followers? So I don't lose money? Like, these are like, I'm like, even these are like new thoughts are pulling out of my head. It's like, where did it even come from? No, I'm like, no, I'm not focused on how am I going to keep myself from losing followers, from losing views. I'm like, how am I going to get myself more followers? How am I going to get myself more views? That's where the focus needs to be. Think like an entrepreneur. Don't go around wasting your time focusing on your products because that's gonna bring you down that's gonna slow you that's gonna make you depressed that's not gonna help what we need to do is just start focusing whatever it is you want to do in your life no matter what it is I mean this apply this logic to everything because we all have problems when you have a problem it's like even how am I gonna pay my rent Oh, I have social anxiety. How am I gonna deal with this person? Like anything. Don't focus on the problems. Focus on your solutions and just focus on how you're gonna fix that problem. And from there, take it one step at a time. Keep moving forward. And as long as you're just looking for that next step, that next level, how you're gonna become stronger, how you're gonna become better, there's no reason you can't eventually become the person who you imagine that you could be one day. That's what I want for you. Become even better than the person you imagine you can be because that person you want to imagine you're going to be he's fictional he's an imagination that works for you now it would in the way that your mind works you're like because these are the rules you have about how you should live your life and this is the ultimate person of living those rules and chances are you got to cut out and throw out a lot of your rules and a lot of the ways you're thinking about life and a lot of ways you view in the world don't be afraid to even go through mental breakdowns we all have to go through it at some point people are such afraid of mental breakdowns of the fact that they may have to question everything in their life rethink everything remake their purpose become a whole different person but do you want to just stay where you are do you really are you really like ultimate happiness or do you think there's a possibility that if you were to try to change yourself that you could become a better person if you were to just put the time and the work and the effort into it i'm gonna leave you with that point guys have a nice day